Taking issue with Senator Mitch McConnell's caution in addressing the nation's racial discord, a former university president in Kentucky on Friday urged the Republican majority leader to speak out against President Donald Trump's efforts to create a greater racial divide. In his open letter to McConnell, Raymond M. Burse wrote that good people have needed to speak up throughout Trump's presidency, but said blatant acts meant to divide the country along racial lines have accelerated and have torn at the fabric of this nation. These outright divisive acts, subtle and not so subtle, should be addressed squarely and forthrightly, Burse wrote the Kentucky senator. In all of this, you have been silent. Why? I'll tell you why after this. In an interview, Burst referred to Trump's law and order message that he said portrays racial justice protesters as being against what, what this country stands for. He also pointed to the Republican National Convention speech this week by a white St. Louis couple criminally charged for waving guns during a Black Lives Matter protest outside their home. Burst's letter also called on McConnell, who sets the Senate's agenda to have the chamber take up a House pass bill to restore key sections of the landmark 1965 Voting Rights Act. Burst, 69, is a former president of Kentucky State University. Oh, he's a, a top ranking official, a historically black land grant school. He is a Harvard educated lawyer who is currently who currently serves as a University of Louisville trustee and serves as a community activist with the Louisville branch of the NAACP. Burst, a registered Democrat, said in an interview that he has known McConnell for decades since the senator was judge executive of Jefferson County, which includes Louisville, and Burst was a, long, a young lawyer. McConnell, who is Trump's most powerful congressional ally, did not immediately comment on Burst's letter, but has said he's proud of his record on racial, race relations and civil rights. I have worked throughout my career to help close the gap so every Kentuckian can enjoy the promise of America's founding principles, the senator said in a statement. McConnell's office printed, pointed to his decades of votes on legislation dealing with racial issues from co-sponsoring legislation in the 1980s to apply economic sanctions to apartheid era South Africa to his support for the 1991 Civil Rights Act and a reauthorization of the Voting Rights Act in 2006. That still doesn't address why he won't authorize it now. And also, the uh, as much as I love the older Bush, Bush 41, the 91 Civil Rights Act was watered down from what the Democrats in the Senate wanted to do. Or rather, from what the Democrats in both chambers wanted to do. Because I just remember, they, they, didn't, they didn't lose um, the House until the Republicans sweep them in 94. I just, just recalled that history lesson. The criticism from Burst comes as McConnell's in the middle of a re-election campaign, and okay, then they're going to talk about stupid McGarth. But this reminds me a lot of the impeachment talk. So I said before impeachment began that Republicans, or at least the majority of them, are not going to vote against Trump because they wanted to, above all, keep their job. And they knew that they would get in trouble with Trump's base if they were to step out of line with being supporting of him on such a highly publicized issue. So to watch this guy, right, and I'm not going to try to pretend McConnell is innocent here, but I guess a lot of people really don't know how politics works. When you are in office, you are doing your best to either stay in your position of power or accumulate more power. And there is no way in hell McConnell is going to look at the tide of Trump voters and go, yeah, I know I can get these people to vote for me so I can get my seventh term in the Senate, but I'm going to instead during this reelection campaign call out Trump for uh, doing the things that they like. Because remember, Trump is has, what, uh, over 90% approval rating with Republicans. So critiquing him especially in some highly publicized way, like where you take some grandstand, it's different to just have like a little vote where you, you vote against something you want. It's, it's like career suicide. And McConnell has spent too many decades and hell actually has spent a decade as the, the Republican leader in the Senate to give that up, to look gracious for a group of people that let's keep it real. If he calls out Trump and he gets his eight seconds of praise from the Democrats, They'll go right back to hating him a week or two later or a few days later.
But that's why I said that a lot of people just don't understand. You're not going to get someone to turn on their team in most cases, because most of these politicians want to rise. They want to move up and they don't see how they're going to be benefited by attacking someone on their own side. So I'm not dismissing the validity of his points, just the uh, effectiveness and realism of having them actually addressed by the person they're directed toward.